Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best, and you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? Now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. This gizmo is the Aperture Science handheld portal device, and it happens to have a potato on it. The Aperture Science handheld portal device, ASHPD for short, is used to create two linked portals and special portal conductive surfaces. According to the boys down at the lab, the portals have been proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Don't look at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, um, even partially. And under no circumstances should you ever... Why is there a potato on it? Well, according to the boys at the lab, it does... Absolutely not. As you can see here, mass is conserved between portals. As Chell steps into one portal, she steps out of another. Likewise, velocity is conserved between portals because they have no effect on gravity or speed. This means that by setting one portal above the other, it's possible to create an infinite loop that allows Chell to fall at terminal velocity in a space as small as 30 meters high. I would like to propose a question. In Portal 2, if Chell is falling at terminal velocity and comes out of a portal on the wall 3.0 meters above the ground, how far away will she land? Since portals don't affect speed or gravity, it's possible to predict exactly how far away Chell will fly by finding both terminal velocity and the acceleration of gravity in Portal. To find how far Chell will fly, both terminal velocity and the acceleration of gravity are necessary. For terminal velocity, we can just put Chell in an infinite loop for a while and then measure how far she falls in a fixed amount of time. Unfortunately, to tell how far she fell, we need distance. So let's see what we need for the acceleration of gravity. In order to find the acceleration of gravity, we need two things. The first being time, which is obviously quite simple to find, and the second thing is distance. Might as well get it out of the way now. Since Portal is a video game, it's difficult to tell exactly how tall something is. However, Portal is conveniently filled with panels, which are uniformly shaped surfaces ideal for putting portals on, which would make it infinitely easier to determine distance if we could just figure out how tall they are. We only know the actual size of one thing in the Portal world, Chell. We know Chell is 1.64 meters tall. By comparing her to a panel, it's possible to determine the panel's height. Using Photoshop's ruler tool, we measured the height of both Chell and a panel in a screenshot. We found Chell's height to be 9.26 inches and the panel's height to be 17.0 inches. This isn't to scale, though. These were the measurements of the picture. To figure out the actual height of the panel, we need to convert to meters. So we take Chell's height of 1.64 meters and divide it by her height in the picture, 9.26 inches. We get 0.177. This is our conversion rate. So we multiply the height of the panel in inches by 0.177 and get 3.01 meters for the height of one panel. This means we can calculate both gravity and terminal velocity. Let's start with terminal velocity. For this, we just throw Chell in an infinite loop for about a minute or so. And then, after her acceleration has reached zero, we record her distance in a set amount of time. We chose 30 seconds. Chell fell through a two-panel high room 125 times in those 30 seconds. That means she fell 250 panels, or 753 meters. To find her speed, we take the distance and divide it by time. So, 753 meters divided by 30 seconds equals 25.1 meters per second. Since acceleration equals zero, this is the terminal velocity for a human in portal. Terminal velocity for a human in real life ranges from 55 through 144 meters per second, depending on how the person is positioned, so this is relatively slow. Now to find the acceleration of gravity. Acceleration equals 2 times distance divided by time squared. Since the terminal velocity is so low, it is difficult to get an accurate calculation. Because of this, there were three trials run, 1 meter in 0.375 seconds, 50 meters in 2.57 seconds, and 48 meters in 2.57 seconds. 
the average acceleration of these three trials came out to be 14.6 meters per second squared. Now that we have both terminal velocity and the acceleration of gravity, we can figure out approximately how far away Chell will land. First, we must find the time it takes to fall 3.01 meters in the portal universe. We take the square root of the following, 2 times distance divided by gravity. This gives us 0.632 seconds. And now we just plug everything in. Distance equals initial velocity, which is our terminal velocity of 25.1 meters per second, times the time we just found, plus 0.5 times gravity, which is 14.6 meters per second squared, times time squared. We get 18.8 .8 meters for our distance. When you put that into portal terms, you get approximately 6.26 panels. However, since there was going to be a visual demonstration to confirm our answer, we redid the calculations at as close to exact value as possible, without using significant figures. Doing it this way gave us a final answer of 6.40 panels. This is the actual distance Chell would go, which you'll see in a few moments. Thank you.